the waning moments of the Mid-Ohio Can-Am Challenge. Leader Patrick Tambay with Al Holbert in hot pursuit. Third place, the property of R.J. Nelkin of New York in what has become a war of attrition. Patrick Tambay is a caricature, the model of everything a French racing driver should be. A jet set bon vivant admired by the ladies. But is that an accurate portrayal of this handsome 31-year-old? Some of that, those stuffs are right, uh, world traveling because of the job we're doing. Uh, everything else, I don't think it's uh, that it's too accurate. I think it's a little bit of a myth. I'm married and uh, quite serious at it. Uh, I'm not a bon vivant. Uh, I don't drink. I don't smoke. I like good food. And, uh, well, here's a tasty morsel from the leader's menu of racing action. A daring pass by Patrick Tambay. Al Holbert in second spot, battling valiantly in his smoking machine in a last-ditch effort to catch the leader, while the blue number 52 car, Gary Gove, presses on for the under two leader. Class victory here. Here is Tambay, the dominant force in the Can-Am Challenge, starting the last of 63 laps. A determined Al Holbert refuses to give up as he takes the signal, indicating just one lap to go. For Tam Bay and the Carl Haas crew, the story of this race may well be the gamble that paid off. A daring tire change that gave him the handling he needed to work through slower traffic and keep Al Holbert at bay in the late laps of this race. Holbert, a study in perseverance as the CRC team have battled engine problems throughout the weekend. Into the final series of turns goes the leader. His margin of victory now secure. Patrick Tambay is headed for home. A huge crowd of some 30,000 road racing fans acclaim this performance with their cheers. The leader turns for the checkered flag. Patrick Tambay has won the Mid-Ohio Can-Am Challenge. Al Holbert comes home second. Third place will be sweet indeed for R.J. Nelkin of Roslyn, New York. That's his best performance ever in Can-Am competition. The spoils of victory await the winner as Patrick Tambay squeezes his Magicolor Lola into victory lane. Climbing out amid the cheers of the crowd, Tambay accepts the congratulations of his crew and a throng of well-wishers, none of whom is any more satisfied than car owner Carl Haas. Patrick Tambay, there are a great many ways to win races, and being around at the finish is always most important. You've won the war of attrition here. Well, it was close. I had a little moment. Uh, I felt that my front uh, left arm was giving me a little bit of a trouble. I was not getting as much bite as I should. I had a bit of a cushion then, and I decided to go for a change, and that made a finish a lot closer. Was it your decision to change the tire? Yes, it was, absolutely. Uh, I lost grip in going into the right-handers, and I felt that if I, with 20-something laps to go, if I kept on going with the same tire, I would not have been able to make it. And so a gamble pays off for Patrick Tambay, pays off in champagne, and the winner's share of some $75,000 in prize money. Flanked by runner-up Al Holbert, third place R.J. Nelkin, and under two-liter winner Gary Goh, Patrick Tambay stands as king of the Mid-Ohio Can-Am Challenge.